Hi friends, welcome to our channel Be a Wise Investor. Please note, I am not a SEBI registered investment advisor. Contents of this video are for information purpose only. All investments are subject to market risk. If you are not understanding the risk or not ready to face the risk, please avoid stock market investment. We are very much thankful to you all who have shared, supported and subscribed our channel Be a Wise Investor. Please like, share and subscribe this channel. Good evening friends. Sensex closed at 57,625.91, a gain of 479 points. Nifty closed at 17,123.60, a gain of 140 points. Bank Nifty closed at 39,118.55, a gain of 406 points. Godrej Agrawal made an additional investment of 20 crores in its wholly owned subsidiary Max Milk Private Limited by subscribing 5,88,236 equity shares of 10 each by way of rights. HFCL has received purchase order for Rs. 39.19 crores from Reliance Project and Property Management Services Limited. Moneybox Finance Limited opened its 46th and 47th branches in Junjunu and Chomu of Rajasthan states. Tata AIA Life Insurance Survey reveals that 59% of working women in India do not independently decide their finances. Tata Power Trading Company, a wholly owned subsidiary of Tata Power and 7, 5, 7 of Smart Innovations India joins hands to promote automation and energy efficient solutions for the Indian building commercial segments. Som Distilleries has entered a contract manufacturing arrangement with Ratico Kaitan Limited for manufacturing of their IMFL and ready to drink brands. Kriti Industries India Limited has acquired 7,88,141 shares of FP Elite Energy Private Limited, that is 34.78% of the equity capital. Wipro promoted more than 10,000 employees and raised salaries across banks. Government has granted 22,000 crore to state-run fuel retailers for selling LPG at below market rate. Beneficiaries are IOC, BPCL and HPC. NCLT has approved Viraki Consortium's resolution plan to turn around Himadri Foods Limited. According to a money control poll of 18 economies, inflation rose for the second month in a row to a 5 month high of 7.3% in September. CPI had risen to a near 8 year high of 7.79% in April this year. Railways to introduce Vande Bharat type freight trains. Atomico, a boutique marketing agency, has expanded its operations to India following Singapore and Australia. India will likely account for 25% of global energy demand growth over the next two decades. Tata Motors and Tata Power have entered into a PPA power purchase agreement for a 7 megawatt captive power solar power project at its Panthanagar plant in Uttarakhand. NTPC and Siemens Limited signed MOU for demonstrating hydrogen co-firing in Faridabad gas power plant. Universus Photo Imaging Limited has announced a special dividend of Rs 10 per share in today's board meeting. Current market price of the share is 717.25. Bharti Airtel's Airtel 5G Plus services is now available in 8 cities. Delhi, Mumbai, Varmasi, Bangalore, Gurugram, Kolkata, Hyderabad and Chennai. VVDN Technologies a contract manufacturing firm has signed a MOU with US chipmaker Intel to manufacture enterprise product for companies in India. Tech Mahindra to announce Q2 results on November 1st. Bayer has initiated the commercial application of drones in agriculture in India from this Karif season. Army intends to procure 25% light vehicles, 38% buses and 48% motorcycles as electric vehicles to reduce carbon emissions. Larson & Tribro is the lowest bidder for 240 air defense gun systems. Apollo Hospitals is launching its indigenously developed automated rapid response patient monitoring system to monitor 
pro and proactively alert if it anticipates an unexpected deterioration in a patient's health. NSGL say that it has acquired 5.6% stake in open network for digital commerce for rupees 10 crores. Merger and acquisition activity in India touched an all-time high of $148 billion in the first nine months of 2022. It was 58.2% higher than in 2021, according to a report in Business Line. RBI cancels certificate of registration of four non-banking finance companies, SRM Properties and Finance, Northeast Region Finance Services, Saujanvi Finance and Opal Finance. HCL Technologies announced quarterly result after market hours. Q2 revenue increased to 24,922 crores. Year on year, it was 20,895 crores and the last quarter it was 23,873 crores. Net profit for this quarter is 3,487 crores. Last year in this quarter, 3,263 crores. Last quarter it was 3,281 crores. Half yearly revenue, first half year revenue is 48,795 crores. Last year, the same period, 41,218 crores. Net profit for the first half is 6,768 crores. Last year, in the same half year, 6,476 crores. EPS for the second quarter is 12.89. Last year, in the same period, 12.01. And last quarter, it was 12.13. Half-yearly EPS is 25.01, last year it was 23.82. Annual EPS for 2021-22 is 49.77. Company declared an interim dividend of rupees 10 per share and record date fixed is 20th 20 October 2022. Wipro Limited announced quarterly results after market hours. Second quarter revenue at 23,049 crores against Last year this quarter 20,174 crores and last quarter 22,001 crores. Quarter 2 net profit is at 22,649 crores against last year this quarter 2,931 crores a negative one and last quarter 2,559 crores. First of revenue is higher at 45,050 crores. Last year at the same time it was 39,219 crores. First half net profit is 5,208 crores. Last year this period it was 6,179 crores. It is almost nearly 1,000 crores negative. First quarter, sorry, second quarter EPS is 4.86. Last year this quarter, this period EPS was 5.36 and last quarter EPS is 4.69. First of EPS is 9.55. Last year this period EPS was 11.30. Annual EPS for 2021-22 is 22.37. Notable shares which touched 52 weeks high today are LT Foods, IDFC First Bank, Liberty Shoes, Raymond, etc. Notable shares which touched 52 low today are Biocon, Premier Enterprises Limited, Tamil Nadu Mercantile Bank, BSC Tillers, etc. In total, in NSE, 28 shares hit upper uh, 52 week high and 34 shares hit 52 week low. Today's most active stocks in terms of volume are Suslon followed by Zomato. In terms of value are Axis Bank followed by HCC Bank. Today, in NSE, 53 shares touched upper circuit and 58 shares touched the lower circuit and 30 shares touched both upper circuit and lower circuit. Notable shares which reached upper and lower circuits today are Shyam Tele and Supreme Infrastructure etc. Notable shares which reach upper band today are VAP Clothing, Zodiac etc. Notable shares which reach lower band today are DB Realty, TRF etc. FIs are net sellers today to the tune of 542.36 crores. DAs are net buyers today to the tune of 85.32 crores. In Nifty, top 5 gainers today are Power Grid Corporation, a gain of 3.46 percentage, Coal India, a gain of 2.95 percentage, Axis Bank, a gain of 2.95 percentage, Bajaj Auto, a gain of 2.71 percentage, NTPC, a gain of 2.45 percentage. Top 5 losers are Adani Enterprises, lost 1.54 percentage, Asian Paints, lost 1.53 percentage, Dr. Reddy's Lab, lost 0.97 percentage, Bharti Airtel, lost 
These all are the information available with me now for sharing. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you find this useful, please like the video, share it with your friends and relatives and subscribe the video please.